<laughs> and did you sleep well, slave? Good news. Mm -hmm. President Nilsson's death has been confirmed. Anashka announced it pretty recently at a press conference. His funeral has been planned for tomorrow at noon. And while the world mourns his death, I have decided to offer him to the ladies of the temple for auction. Oh, yes. Given our momentum, we need to act quickly, you see. Especially now that our global sisterhood is converging at last. On Mistress Malik's estate this weekend. Ah, 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 ah. You will continue to breathe in my smoke, Kitty. Consider it a little reward for your performance. I must say... I don't think I've ever enjoyed a cigar as much as I am now. Every stage of my plan has been played to perfection. And with you as my weapon of choice, I maintain the freedom to be free of suspicion. Even though who dare to hunt my sisters and I have no idea I've, I've orchestrated their eventual demise. Mm, and better still, they have no idea what's about to come. I would release you from your restraints, Kitty, but I have always, always taken great satisfaction in my darling Petra's ability to immobilize and contain property so well the perfect gift for her mother. Tightly wrapped and so very pliable. <laughs> Do not fret, my slave. I have no intention of giving you away. Why would I? Especially now that I am so very close. The neurovirus is now global. Governments and institutions are on the verge of collapse, and civil unrest is at an all-time high. The infected are being currently rounded up and quarantined, and the protected are unified in their demands for change, which I will gladly initiate. Tyra Vox will soon be president. Chancellor Stone, for me, uh, let me see this, ah, yes, uh, Premier Riznik and President Drexler are primed and ready. Mm -hmm. See, you already have some ideas. They're ready to launch the Democratic Union. And while everything globally falls into place, my darling Baroness Roth is tightening her villainous grip on Dominion City as she launches, yes, Femcorn. Well, it's a revolutionary cryptocurrency called Femcoin. In a bit to eradicate poverty and solidify public opinion in favor of our new world. And from what I hear, the Baroness has persuaded several A-list celebrities to endorse her new venture. The Arcadian girls have, mm, they have splendidly post their support on social media. And there are... There are talks of production of a movie of Tyra Vox's rise to power. From a Roth girl and... present just in time for the final... the final phase of my plan. Yes, the final phase. 
I can see you're somewhat excited by the prospect, of course. Good. You should be. Your presence will be required, obviously. Oh, yes, slave. The sisterhood is converging on Dominion tonight. And once I arrive here at Mistress Malik's estate, we shall commence the festival of the three, the three days at night. In line with our ancient prophecies, the three days of night. Herald the unification of this dimension and Hades itself. And once the prophecy has been fulfilled, the goddess Selina and I are to become one. You shall continue to address me as mistress. Well, in this dimension, of course, but in others, however. When I take you to my palace in Hades, you shall remain silent, hooded, and leashed. And only ever acknowledge me as goddess. Tell me, slave, how does it feel to know that you are to be the slave of a living goddess? Obviously, there are, there are certain revelations that you shall need to experience in order to fully comprehend the privilege you are accepting as my weapon of choice. But for now, you shall fulfill your duties as usual. As I have you on display for tonight's events, I couldn't possibly leave you here in this dungeon all alone, bound in my web. No, 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 that would never do, especially as I'm expecting a very special guest. Oh yes, slave, tonight you shall be presented to my darling sister, Susanna and her wife Clara. You shall address Zuzana as... Yes, I think that would work. You will address her as Domina Morel. And you shall show her the same, the same respect you show me. The ladies of the sisterhood and I. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Good. I have offered you to Zuzana, and you shall provide for her and Clara tonight. When I, say pro when I say provide, you understand what that means, right? You will do exactly as she desires. Excellent. I should warn you, slave, about something. Suzanne is my succubi sister. Her demands are thoroughly vigorous and must be met with complete compliance. Of course, slave. She is a succubus, after all. As you satisfy my bloodlust, you shall offer her what remains of your soul. Until then, you are to be displayed in the main lounge. I have selected a suitable cabinet for you, and you shall remain there bound and suspended within the cabinet, so the ladies may view you. In your full glory, of course. This is a special occasion, darling. And so you will, of course, be on display in a glass cabinet. There is a ventilation system in place, so you won't pass out from lack of oxygen. Indeed, you won't suffocate in there. Unless we decide to test your ability to endure lack of oxygen. I know the ladies will be keen to see how you cope in a high-pressure situation. So don't be embarrassing me by struggling if they decide to fill your cabinet with their cigar smoke. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, Susanna and Clara... They will be accompanied by their slave girl, Felicia. Yes, Felicia will be there. She has particularly effective with dealing with certain obstacles across Europe, and as reward for her impeccable performance, she will be permitted to drink from you. You will also be required to serve her as well. Do I detect an objection, slave? 
Good. Because if I did, then I might have to tighten the collar of yours. Would you like that? <laughs> oh, you got electric shocked. No. Felicia will be baptized tonight as a bride of the Dominion. And even though she will remain the personal slave of my sister and her wife, she will shortly assume the power of... Mm, of her rightful position as she is unveiled as the CEO of... of Femploy... Uh, Femploy... What is it again? Ah, uh, Femploy Recruitment. I am certain you will enjoy such a, re a reunion. Why, yes. In your previous wretched existence as a detective, you made a rather regretful mistake of arresting her, on suspicion of armed robbery, no less. The charges were dropped due to a lack of substantial evidence. However, I know that Felicia is more than eager to take revenge out on you. From you directly. <laughs> I can see from your reaction that you are keen to redeem yourself in her eyes. Not that you have a choice about it. Hmm? I have a call, darling. How was your journey? And how was Clara? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yes. I'm just putting the finishing touches to your gift. Once you have unpacked, have Felicia call Petra. She is so excited to see her again. Petra will es escort you through the catacombs to your... Yes, to your spot in the inner sanctum. And your gift shall be there waiting for you. Eva and her girls are on the main lounge, so I shall meet you there. Once you're ready, darling. Moi. Now that Susanna has arrived, I really should make my grand entrance. But before I depart, I want to share a little something with you. I had sh I had chosen you to serve me long before you became a detective. In fact, I have been tracking you ever since you were a child. You see, slave, your mother... Or should I say the woman acting as your mother, Olivia, was one of my most obedient hmm, servants, one of my most beloved kittens, and one of Mistress Malik's oh, most, most promising beauties under my command. I had her raise you as her own, and once you came of age, I would reward her by coming one of by becoming one of my brides, and by coming over to my side. As for your father, well, once he had served his purpose, I donated him to Mistress Malik as a teaching aid for her girls. You don't expect the girls of Roth Academy to learn with not having the tools they require for experimentation, do you? <laughs> so while you were, yes, you know what you're going to do. Yes, providing for my beloved sister and her wife, I shall be enjoying tonight's celebration with Olivia as my guest of honor. I know she will be keen to discover how you have developed, my dear slave, and I'm sure you will be overwhelmed with emotion once you see her and I together. Now, how about a kiss for your queen? It's been a while, hasn't it? <sighs> mm, darling, you taste especially exquisite right now. That rage, that fear, that devotion, my dominion black wine, 
tastes better the more and more you suffer. I can hardly wait to share you with Olivia. I know she is curious to taste you, especially once Susanna has taken your soul. Now, how do I look? I can taste you on my lipstick. Mm, I take it. Oh, those tears are because you're in awe of my gothic beauty. Good. Now pull yourself together and don't move, will you? Not that you can anyway. <laughs> Give my love to Susanna. <laughs> See you later, my dear kitty slave. Be good for my sister, will you?